Hello, this is the Lord's Legion yet again with a brand new countdown. And this video will be the top 10 darkness manipulators of all time. So long as the character can manipulate the darkness or the shadows or anything in relation, then they are likely to be candidates on this list. And I'm not really looking at the characters per se, but rather their abilities and see how powerful they really are. So without further ado, let's begin with the list. Starting up at number 10 we have the Mandarin. The Mandarin has a lot of rings at his disposal, however we're going to be focusing on the Nightbringer. The Nightbringer is essentially the ring that can control darkness as well as shadows and all that cool stuff. The reason why the Mandarin is at the bottom of the list is because he almost never really uses that ring and he always often uses his other rings. Number 9 we have Noob Cybot. In my eyes, Noob Cybot can be considered to be one of the most powerful ninjas within the Mortal Kombat universe. Noob Cybot's powers are essentially phantom based, so he can essentially do quite a few things. Most notably, he is able to duplicate himself, as well as make another portal so that he can enter from one place to another, as well as using them for fatalities and whatnot. And although he hardly ever uses this power, he is also able to use all his shadow powers so that he can turn invisible for a long time. And considering Noob Cybot is also a ninja, he is one stealthy ass motherfucker. Number 8 we have the Darkness. While using his Darkness armor, he has the typical stuff such as superhuman strength, speed, agility, what have you. But what he also has is creation which essentially allows him to create claws, guns, tendrils, tentacles, blades, fangs, you name it. The darkness can also shapeshift and even has a form of telepathy. And with all these powers combined, the darkness is essentially one tough badass that is very tough to beat. And just so we're clear, I'm talking about the darkness from the comics and not from the video games. Up next we have Cloak. The most obvious ability that Cloak has is the fact that he could just use his own cloak in order to teleport himself from one way to another. Another interesting ability of Cloak is that he could drag people into his own cloak which inevitably transports them inside a whole different dimension for Cloak to just simply suck out the life of other people. Not to mention he can also turn intangible so that not many people can even touch him. The problem with Cloak is the fact that if he doesn't have enough life force, he could potentially just die. Which is why he's always with Dagger because she's the one that has infinite life force for him to just feed off of. Number 6 we have The Shade. The Shade has a variety of powers that he can use just by dark manipulation alone. He could manipulate it to make some sort of tentacles, or he could just simply teleport and what have you. He also has Astral Protection, Shapeshift, and of course he has Immortality. But the most interesting thing about the Shade is the fact that he can actually create some illusions which could literally trick any of his opponents. Out of all these powers, the Shade is essentially a dangerous anti-hero. Number 5 we have Darkrai. Darkrai is a legendary Pokemon and of course he's going to be a powerful Dark Manipulator. But what I find cool about Darkrai is essentially how he could just go into your dreams and then just haunt you. Not to mention he can also do illusions and hypnosis which can just fuck up with your mind. He can also bend the dark powers as well as the shadows and can even do dark blasts. Top that with phasing, psychic and telepathy, then you know for certain that Darkrai is one of the most powerful Pokemon there is, as well as being one of the most dangerous of course. Number 4 we have Mephilus the Dark. Mephilus is one of Sonic's most dangerous enemies as well as one of the most cunning. For starters he can bend darkness any way he wants. He can also duplicate himself through countless measures. 
He also has astral protection, teleportation, and of course, he's immortal. He can even manage to shapeshift, which could literally put anyone at their toes. And of course, he is capable of even mimicking other people's powers. And of course, that is dangerous. Number three, we have Ganondorf. Considering Ganondorf has the Triforce of Power, of course he's gonna have quite a bit of abilities. For starters, he has incalculable strength, he can almost never die, he's also a Master Swordsman, and of course a Magician. But let's not forget about the Beast Ganon form. Is that not good enough for you? Well, of course he also has Darkness Manipulation, Almost to the point where he could even use the shadows to increase his strength. He can also bring back the dead and control them for his own deeds. He also has telepathy and can even cast illusions. You see, they don't call Ganondorf the king of evil as well as the master of the dark art for nothing. Number two, we have Raven. Raven is considered to be one of the most powerful magicians as well as one of the best darkness manipulators in all of the DC Universe. She can manipulate the darkness so that she can create like energy shields or even shadow blasts. She can also phase herself, control people's blood and of course can even levitate. She is even capable of bringing back the dead, she is also a psychic, a shapeshifter, can alter her size, telekinesis, telepathy, and she can even teleport. Also, add the fact that she can predict the future, and you know that Raven is one tough cookie to beat. But who can even top Raven? Well, let's find out. Number one, we have Alucard. And at this point, there's no secret that Alucard has a ton of abilities. He can manipulate the darkness as well as all the shadows with no defined limit. He also has astral protection, is able to manipulate and drain blood, is nigh unkillable, can also duplicate himself, he can also do hypnosis, illusion casting, and of course has telepathy. He is also a master of magic, can turn invisible, he can also shapeshift, revive the dead, has telekinesis, he's a psychic, and believe it or not, I could literally go on for ages about how powerful this character really is. And for these reasons or more, this is why Alucard is at my number one darkness manipulator. And as always, thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, take care and have a good one.